Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. Crazy because I just am sometimes, it's not intentional. <laughs> troll because, as you can see, I'm a troll, a cute troll when I put on face paint, but I still consider myself a troll nonetheless. This is the second installment of my brush collection. I did just rush through, <laughs> or I tried to rush through my brushes and I wasn't able to get to my eyeshadow brushes. And so I'm going to pick up where I left off, which was... This Real Techniques number 205 foundation brush that I actually use to um, put on my eye primer. I'll, I'll use the, <laughs> the primer wand <laughs> and dab it on and then I use this to smooth it out. That's what I'm trying to say. And this one is a Real Techniques, oh, what does it say? Setting brush. I use this for the same thing for my eyeshadow primer or to set... Um, my concealer. These are all of my eye brushes or brushes that I use for my eyes. This one is a newish one. I think I had it maybe three months and I really like it. This is a Sephora Pro Stippling Concealer Brush number 52 and it works really well again for <laughs> eyeshadow primer and also for concealer which is what it says it is for. This brush came in BoxyCharm. This is a Luxie number 250 large eyeshadow blending brush and when I first saw it, these bristles are not even even. Anyway, um, I thought it was weird. I'm like, who has like a square blending brush? But when I used it, it did work like really well. This, all the silver handle ones are at least 15 years old. These are Sephora brushes. I'm going to see if I can find them all. I might have missed a few. I've had these at least 15 years. And I'm, I'm rough when I clean my brushes. And these, <laughs> these brushes are awesome. This one is the cream eyeshadow brush. Um, I used this one. My camera just completely just cut off. Well, my phone, which I use the camera on the phone. This one I used to pack on shadow and sometimes um, to do my crease color. This one is their Smoky Eye brush number 24. And I use this one for color under my lower lash line and sometimes to um, do an outer V. This one is the dome shadow brush number 13. This one I always use well, when I use it for my inner corner or um, to blend out my outer V. This one is their medium shadow brush number 14. Usually I use this just for like if I'm doing like my lid in thirds because it is so small. Well, for me, it's small. I'll use this for the first third of my eye. This is their blending brush. I'm sorry, crease brush. Um, says number 10. And this one I'll use for my crease color. This one just says shadow and number 12. And it's a packer brush. And I like it because it's larger. So I can do my entire lid and above my crease without taking up a bunch of time. Excuse me, I am sweaty. Uh, let me see what we have here. These are, this came, I think, in BoxyCharm, these three. This one I've never used. I would if I still used um, cream eyeliner, but I've never used this brush. And it has the number on it, 498. This one says 430 crease brush. Line, it says line on this one. This is a crease brush. I have used this one and I did like how it worked. <laughs> this one is a 466 shade brush. So this is a packer brush or you can also, if you have a lot of um, crease space or if you're taking your lid color above your crease, this is good for that. This, oh, it's another one and another one. This one is Detail Brush is 420 and I would use this for my outer V or to do my inner corner or to do um, a brow bone highlight. This one is a Smudger 420. This one I have used it for underneath my lower lash line. I didn't like it that much because it seemed like I needed to put more pressure under there than I wanted to. And I already have wrinkles and things like that and so I don't want to cause more. These brushes came in BoxyCharm earlier this year. This one, I don't see any numbers. I'm not going to take a lot of time. This one I've only used for buffing out color under my lower lash line. This one, the same thing. To me, they look like the same brush. This is more rounded than this one. 
but to me they look the same and so I use them the same way. This one's kind of stiff. Yeah, I don't like that one. This one, I guess is a crease brush. It's um, slanted. Ooh, my, I'm like so oily. All I have is like moisturizer on. So this one is a crease brush, but it's kind of small for me. And so I use it for my inner corner. Uh, what else? This is uh, Hourglass number three. This is a packer brush. Really soft, really like it. Really expensive. My other Hourglass brush, dome shaped. Dome shadow brush, excuse me. So this one I would use for if I want a color directly in my crease. Outer corner, inner corner. And a bunch, I think everything else are Real Techniques brushes except this one. This came in BoxyCharm too. And this is their Lux Large Shader number 209. So this is a packer. I'm not really a fan of this brush. So, but I mean, it works. All the rest of these are Real Techniques brushes that I purchased from Ulta. <clears throat> this one is Instapop Crease Brush. I like the, the slanted ones because you can get color exactly where you want it. And because it is a smaller brush, you can also do your inner corner with this one. This one, I don't believe I've used. It says detailer brush, which you would use for detail work, your outer V, your inner corner, your brow bone highlight underneath your lower lash line. I don't think I've ever used that one because it is so small. This one, Instapop Crease Brush. I, I think I purchased two sets of these brushes because some of these are duplicates. This one also is a crease brush, but they're different colors, but it's the same exact brush. This one is more like a pink and this one is purple with black at the bottom. So yeah, I think I went back and purchased more because I really liked the Real Techniques brush. This is the Insta Pop Shade Brush. Again, you still have that slant, and I love using this one for packing color on my lid. I just love these. They just, the color goes exactly where I want it to go. Another one of the same pack on the lid. You saw me get ready like go like this and stick it in my eye, right? <laughs> Another one is the Pop Shader Brush, which again, like they're the same exact brush, but they're different colors. So I'm like, I don't know what's up with that, but I love these Real Techniques brushes. This one is the same thing. It's the Pop Shader Brush. I had to have purchased a set. I think it might have been like you buy one, you get one 40% off, and so there was a set, and so I bought two. I think that's what happened. And these brushes are super inexpensive, um, and they've been lasting me. Some of these I've had, I would say, at least a year at this point. This one says a deluxe crease brush, but I find that it's, like, too big for me to use as my crease unless I start... Um, lower down like at the like my lid area because it goes like way up here and so sometimes I'll just use this to just buff out if I have harsh edges don't without putting any color on it just go and just buff it out because this is a big brush and this is the same thing yeah I had to have purchased two sets <clears throat> this one is their base shadow brush to me it looks like a crease brush <laughs> and i think i have used it for my crease color and i've used it for packing hmm. another oh, crease prep brush this one is more dense than um the deluxe shaders But this one I use for packing as well. Three left and then I'm done, guys. This one is the base shadow brush. Probably I showed you one of these. I'm sure I did. I'll use this for crease color. I'll use it to pack on. But because it's not that dense, if I'm using a saturated color, I, I may have to like double dip or triple dip. Whereas if I'm using a, a dense brush like this one, it will just like deposit the majority of the color. This is their Defining Crease Brush. It's kind of small for crease work. I did a video where I used this by mistake. I bought it over here by mistake. And I was trying to like blend out a color and like it was taking me a long time. I think that's my other video where I did a face of the day with the, the Natasha Denona palette. 
and you'll see me struggling my voice is going you'll see me struggling trying to blend it out with this little brush so this is as it says a defining brush and so this would be for in a corner grab on highlight if you want to define your outer v or even if you want to use the tip of it because it is kind of pointy to put color under your lower lash line the last brush here instapop crease brush which i would use this for inner corner or if i want to blend inward the outer corner and i'm sure i had one of those which i do right here yeah, it's the same. I saw them there, the same exact brush, but different colors. But anyway, thanks guys for watching and for bearing with me with all of these um, brush <laughs> videos. I'm getting delirious. I think I'm just hot right now. I don't know if it's a hot flash or what, but I'm not going to start babbling. But thank you guys for watching, and you will see me in the next video. Let me know what some of your favorite brushes are. Um, and if you have a brush collection, if you do a video, feel free to, you know, link it to me and I will watch it. And thank you guys for watching and you'll see me in the next video. Bye.